In the first video in this series, I made a showcase for the voice synthesis app we're going to create. So make sure to check it out if you want to follow along with coding. You have to register for free with Ivona, which only takes a couple of minutes to get your API keys so that you can make calls from within Python. So let's start coding. We want to import everything from TK. Enter. And we also specifically want to import TTK. So from TK, enter, import TTK. We import scroll text. So from TK, enter, import scrolled text. And we're going to import thread from threading. We import Pivona. This is a package that you have to install, so make sure to check the first video uh, to see uh, the prerequisites. And from the last one is from keys, we're going to import everything. Once again, you'll understand this better when, when we get to that point. Now let's create our GUI. And we do this, as you might already know, root is dk, all right, we'll give root a title, which is, let's say, Ivona Speech Synthesizer, Ivona Speech Synthesizer. All right, we're going to create two functions. So define callback. All right, and this is where um, Ivona will speak from. Just putting a placeholder here and let it pass. And we're going to create another function for threading. So uh, we're going to use threading so that our main app will not freeze while it's speaking the text we gave it as input. Um, you'll see it when, when we get to that point. So um, threading so that our main app does not freeze. This is also going to pass for now. And to design our GUI, um, it's going to be quite minimalistic, uh, same as the universal search engine that created that we created in a previous series. So we're going to have an entry field, which is going to be scrolled text, scrolled, so capital S. Capital T. We're gonna attach it to the root application. We're gonna give it a width of 30 and a height of let's say 10. And we're gonna wrap around word. So wrapping is gonna be done around word. Now using the grid geometry manager, we're gonna place this on row zero, column zero. Okay, well, the second thing that we want to do is design a button, which is going to be from the themed TK button. We're going to attach it to the root. We're going to have a display speak, all right. And we're going to have it work with the command. Threading. So whenever we 
uh, click the button is gonna do whatever it's inside the threading uh, function we're also gonna use the grid geometry manager to put button on row 0 column 1 row 0 column 1 and we'll stick it to the north of its location um, I'm going to show you what happens if we don't stick it to the north once we once we run the app. Um, here I'm going to do another another placeholder for Ivona to define uh, to define a voice and to call the to sign in with the keys um, and. We're going to finish with putting our focus in the entry field so that once we start the app, we can immediately start typing without having to place the cursor inside the entry field. So this is for convenience. And we're going to run the main loop. Okay, so let's run this. I saved it as Ivona1PYW. Uh, so it won't display the console window when it runs. And I run it with F5. Okay, so we didn't get any error here. Uh, so the focus is um, in 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 the entry field so we don't have to like uh, let me run it once again to show you so f5 and I can already start typing in but if I wouldn't have the entry focus um, and now I'm pressing the keyboard and it doesn't happen uh, it doesn't display the keys that I'm pressing, so I have to click in the entry and start typing. Okay, so um, we'll leave it here. Run it again, F5. And you see, um, I've made the speak, the button to stick to the north of its location. If I wouldn't have done this, let me show you what happens. So if there is no sticky button, we run it. And it's going to place it uh, centered with the entry field. So we have to specify. I think it looks better if we stick it to, to its north, uh, to the north of its location. Sticky equals N. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching.